Southampton with what looks like their strongest lineup for a fixture in which they've tended to do rather well. Uh, twice since they were promoted, they've ended Leeds' unbeaten home run here. The second time two years ago this month in a remarkable match, which they won by two own goals and a penalty, and by doing so knocked the props from underneath Leeds' bid for the treble. Back in the side today, Brian O'Neill starting a match for the first time since November the 13th when Southampton beat Leeds 2-1 at the Dell. A cartilage operation and a nine-week suspension have been the reasons for his absence. Also on view, Jim Steele signed from Dundee at the back end of January. Leeds have been forced to make one change from the side that beat Cardiff in the Cup last week and gave a scintillating ex exhibition of uh, football skills against Manchester United a fortnight ago, and that at fullback, Terry Cooper has a knee injury, so Paul Rini comes in at number two, and Paul Maidley, that man of all shirts, wears number three. Mick Jones, the Leeds number nine, all prepared to play his 300th league game, his 151st for Leeds United. Previously, he played 149 for Sheffield United, and in fact, he needs three goals for his 50 for Leeds. Southampton in the stripes, playing right to left, and with the wind behind them, been pouring with rain for the last five minutes, but fortunately, it's just relented. Paul Maidley. Jones beaten by Steele. The two teams in identical positions from that match on March the 28th, 1970. Southampton in 18th place, Leeds second. Hunter. Maidley, Gray on the touchline. And it was Gray who started things against Manchester United. And everybody else joined in the act. O'Neill. Terry Payne. O'Neill, who came on as a substitute last week, must have one game in the reserves. Ron Davis, turn, creates a bit of space for himself. Shannon shot, goal kick. Mick Shannon scored two fine goals the last time we saw him on television for the England under-23 team against the Scotland under-23 team at Derby. McCarthy, Shannon, Davis, Jack Charlton behind him. And a Leeds ball. Pitch a little bit soft on top. But looking more green than most pitches around the country at this time of the year. Jones, Bremner. There's no foul, said the referee. Greeny. Alan Clark. Great roars, but he went all across. That's a nice ball to Clark. McCarthy in two minds. Gray, Jones right of the penalty spot. Bremner is up as well. Jones's header. In fact, if Jones had left it, I think Billy Bremner was better placed. Eric Martins conceded 37 goals away from home. Jones and Gabriel. Southampton ball. Giles. Lauren McCalling for the one on this touchline, and he gets it. Beat Steele, but not Jenkins. A necessary turn by Jenkins. Martin telling Southampton to play it away. They do it nicely. Payne. Maidley caught a little bit then, but he's back now. Shannon.
Bremner. Hunter now moving backwards into defence. This is Gray. Southampton's plan pretty obvious to play it as tight as they can at the back and look for the long ones up for Shannon or Davis. With both Payne and Jenkins wearing 7 and 11 coming back to add to the midfield and deeper. because the ball was a bit too fast. Ron Davis's header. Jenkins on the break. Shannon to his right, so is O'Neill. Only two Leeds men back. This is Shannon. Back again for Jenkins. O'Neill on the far side. The great kick against O'Neill trip from behind on Giles. Nothing like as bad as it looks. And certainly not justifying the booze, but perhaps the Steel incident and the O'Neill incident adding together in the minds of the crowd. Good running across by Jones, found space for Lorimer. Clark is unmarked on the far side of the box, but it's too long, no it's not. to Bremner. Forward for Gray again. Jones, Gray, Clark out to the left. In comes Clark! At last! The goal has been coming the whole of the half. Scored by Alan Clark. The move worked in midfield. Bremner, Gray, out to Clark, coming in from the left. The angle wasn't good, but it was good enough for Clark. I don't know what Don Reeve is saying, but he must have been getting a bit frustrated with Leeds with so much of the play, but they've waited until the 38th minute to score a goal. Gates on the evidence of what we've seen before. Clark! Blocked by Gabriel. Alan Clark again. Lorimer. Jack Charlton stretching for it, Lorimer did very well, still doing well, no foul has been given, Lorimer protesting, the mutual scrambling and pushing and shoving, really left the referee with having to call it six of one half a dozen of the other. Kick him against Ron Davis for obstruction. Eddie Gray. Lorimer. Lovely flick. Lorimer, not a good shot.
Stokes. Gray through to Lorimer. Jones coming in, number two. season is 21 in total. Ball from Gray moving out to the right, and although Jones was coming in on the left-hand side, Peter Lorimer didn't need him with a power-pack punch. Stokes, Shannon. Southampton now have got to completely alter their tactics. We're giving all the impressions of playing for the draw. Away goes Lorimer. Clark and Jones to his left, and Bremner. In comes Clark, taken away from him by Martin. Darius Brake wanting to go across and collect. Been a spectator except for one save. Clark, Lorimer. Might just have time. No, they won't. The only question of the half. But why we waited so long for the first goal, the answer might well be Jimmy Gabriel, but after 37 minutes of frustration for Leeds, Alan Clark scored in the 38th minute, and then Peter Lorimer followed it up with number two in the 41st. Jimmy Gabriel, who did so much to keep Southampton in the game in the first half for so long, already for what looks like being a pretty busy second half, and it's worth noting that both of the goals went across the face of the goalkeeper, Eric Martin. One from either side. Alan Clark, who scored the first of them, the far side of those three. John Giles, number 10, back to Jack Charlton. The rain has gone away again, but uh, the wind now blowing from behind Leeds United. Alan Clark beating the touchline. Lorimer. Steele, who made the tackle, lived up to his name then. Ron Davis. Surprised to see Hunter caught like that. Very rare moment. A little bit more of the uh, sole shoe shuffle. Clark making a good run right to left. Jones now behind him on the touchline. The move into the middle is a bit slow, though. Now Gray. Bremner. Jack Charlton coming up square. Two Southampton on one. Gray. Mick Jones, inside McCarthy, Gray, Maidley Square, Lorimer out to the right, Gray, Giles, Clark, the stripes are running around but they're keeping it out at the moment, and they're forcing Leeds to play it along the line. Clark calling for it on the far side. Here's Lorimer. Oh, he's beaten him twice. Still got a chance to cross it. Gabriel's header. Clark. Gray on the right. Clark. Lorimer. Blocked by McCarthy. 
two up for Southampton. Now three. With all the Leeds defences assembled. Giles. Bremner. Jones is left, Lorimer is right. Ron Davis. Shannon Davis. The free kick given against Norman Hunter. Jimmy Gabriel's gone up on the near side as we look, wearing number five. There he is with Ron Davis. Gabriel now coming across the area, Davis coming in behind him, but the ball being held up a bit in the wind. Nice use of a stretch right leg. Gray. Jenkins. Shannon. Davis. Shannon a bit slow to get to his feet. Clark. Giles. That's for Lorimer, nicely flighted. I suspect that might well have beaten. Martin, if it had been on target. Maidley. Clark. Got a lovely ball from Giles. That was a six iron. That didn't get as much curl as it wanted. Jenkins, pain is free on the right, but the pass behind him has allowed two men to cover. Jenkins again, Stokes to his left. Shannon. Giles. Jones. Watch that well. Square for Gray. Jack Charlton is up. Push through the gap for Jack Charlton, steal across. What's a goal, does Jack Charlton? Hunter just got a little uh, touch on Davis's leg then. John Giles, look at the space there. On for Clark. So, so easy, but so beautifully set up and finished. So much space for Giles about 10 or 15 yards into the Southampton half. The ball pushed through for Alan Clark, who took it with the nonchalance of a very, very good player. Out of the match, goal number three, and it won't be the finish. It didn't go. The linesman said it did, but I doubt very much if the whole of that ball crossed the line. The crowd breaking into, we're going to win the league. You've, now you've got to believe us. On the evidence of what we've seen of Leeds in recent weeks, it doesn't take too much believing. Manchester City and Derby might have other thoughts and elsewhere down at Highbury. Here's Mick Jones. 
Did he play the ball, the goalkeeper? Got to give him the benefit of the doubt. I must say, I didn't see what was wrong with that tackle. Slid in with the ball. The referee didn't like it. Here's Larimar. Clark. Jenkins. Giles. Free kick against Stokes. No, it's not given, but here's Larimar. And I think that must count as an own goal. But a valiant attempt to save it as Pretty Larimar found himself clear as it looked as though Stokes had foul, but it's McCarthy trying desperately on the line, and I think his foot, in fact, put it over. But it was an attempt to save the shot from Lorimer, and doubtless Lorimer will claim the credit for the goal. 64 minutes, 4 nothing to Leeds United. I need one more to equal their best at home, which was the last match we saw against Manchester United. They also scored five in a home match, played away from home at the beginning of the season, and they beat Newcastle at Hillsborough. Here's O'Neill. great team was in a way taken as a derogatory remark underestimating the individual ability of the players in that team there's some great players here I have no doubt about that it's pretty difficult to find an ordinary player Gabriel is now called out of position Bremner with the ball, Jones on the left, Clark in the middle, referee has a quick word with Steele, Lorimer calling for it, Giles, team prepared to take his time to find Lorimer, Jones on the end of this, and Gray, Steele who flicked it away, still in play, Bremner, He very nearly made it. Southampton has left it for going wide. But what a beautiful little back flick by Billy Bremner that put Maidley through. Shannon. Payne, first timer perhaps. But he might wish he had. Well, that was the only chance he had of scoring was to hit it first time before the, the white mess came back. Here's Gray. Bremner. Giles. Gray. Bremner. Beaten by Gabriel. Giles. That's a run round so well. Here's Bremner again. Not a good one that time.
freely given away. Roger Fry presenting the ball to Peter Larimer, and that is a thing that it's not very wise to do. And while all that was happening, Southampton had brought on their substitutes, Tony Byrne and the skipper Terry Payne playing his 625th game has gone off. 625th league game, that is. This is 717th, all told, for the club, and not one that either he or the club will want to remember very much. And that, at the moment, makes it Leeds' best victory at 5 nothing. Both Newcastle and Manchester United scored one. Jones, and the foul has been given. Against McCarthy. Laura running over Bremner, Giles. Clark. Gonna go in alone. And he very nearly found the corner. Bremner. Lorimer. All the stripes coming out, Hunter's offside, he's got back now. Play number six, Gray moving to the near post, Jack Charlton! <laughs> well, I said he wanted to go, you can see what he feels about it by the smiles. Come at a very timely moment for him in his career. to Leeds. <laughs> O'Neill for Southampton, Gabriel now up in attack. It doesn't seem to matter anymore. Hunter away. Here's McCarthy, Giles, Clark. Ben, Jenkins. Shannon. Gary's break, the coldest man around. Looks as they he wants to become an outfield player. Gray. Jack Charlton playing at right half. Charlton now playing it inside right. Still waiting for the ball to come up to him. So concerned where everybody was. Bremner going through the middle. Well played by Fry under some pressure. Steele, McCarthy to O'Neill.
Jack Charlton had time to see whether O'Neill was hurt. Not a good return ball by Jones. Eric Martin, who conceded eight at Goodison Park, five at home against Manchester United, now six here, and must wonder whether there's any more to come. underneath it, in comes Jones! Well, Martin didn't have to wait very long. Eddie Gray's run on the left, a typical run, balancing himself beautifully as he was attempted to be tackled by Stokes. The long cross, Lorimer's header, down to Jones, who put it in for number seven. The Leeds manager's face still not uh, giving anything away. that Leeds are playing with Southampton is the understatement of the season. Poor Southampton just don't know what day it is. Every man jack of this, of this Leeds side is now turning it on. Oh, look at that! It's almost cruel. The Allen Road crowd are lapping it up. The second home match running, Leeds United are turning on a brilliant show and the other team are just not on the park. Even when a pass goes astray, they can pick it up. Got to feel some sympathy for Southampton. The gap between their position and Leeds is an almighty chasm. Jack Charlton is miles offside forward, that's why Lorimer's is holding it. A massacre it looks on paper, and a massacre it was. Credit Southampton with taking defeat gracefully, but really they were in a different league from Leeds United, who totally outclassed them. Three goals for Peter Lorimer, two for Alan Clark, one for Jack Charlton, one for Mick Jones. Another brilliant performance by Leeds United, and Southampton really just didn't know what had hit them from the moment that Leeds went in front. And they threatened to do that from the start of the game. <laughs>